So again, yep, tomorrow's Father's Day, and I need to come with a quick Father's Day present for my dad. I'm thinking about a table or bar for next to the barbecue pit that he can put all of his meat and uh, different things that he's cooking, utensils, plates, and whatnot on without having to move around a lot. Anyways, I have this stack of leftover wood here. I have more wood there. That wood's spoken for already. I have more, no, well, that's sort of spoken for. This is part of the table, but I still got that. I also have this bar top that I haven't finished yet. And there's not quite enough for another picnic table there. I'm one sh board short, but there's these other two boards here on the side and that one. Plus I got a few uh, one by fours over there. And we come this way. I got a ton of two by fours. Most of these two by fours were going to be for a uh, wood stand that I still need to make. Sorry. Still pushing those in place. <clears throat> I need to make a cart for my wood so it's not all over the floor. Oh, and I got these two over here, which are supposed to be for a kid's picnic table, which I already have all the wood cut except for the braces. Oh, another scorpion. Tons of them here. Let me move those out of the way before they start to split. This was sort of going to be the shipping box. For that crate, what? So, what we gotta do is figure out and lay out. So, let me go through and grab some of these boards. We're gonna lay it out here, kind of see what we have to work with. Okay, so, not touching those, narrowed it down to this selection right here. Those are too short, or those other two are just messed up. And, of course, the two by four. So, idea is, we're gonna have a top shelf, a bottom shelf, four um, posts that are going up and down, and then two that go across for each of these along this way, and then of course the small ones to go here are two by four. Not gonna use the two by six. Not gonna use the two by six here as it's just a, I wouldn't say an island, but it's gonna be bar height, so 42 inches tall. We're not going with that one because I wanna make an actual bar to sell that piece. Sorry, the floor's still sticky. Uh, so, that's pretty much where I'm at. I got tons of 2 by 4s over there, all treated. We're only going with treated wood because this is probably going to be left outside and not covered up. So, treated wood would be the better route. And on top of that, I'm going to get the saw out. We're going to make them all the same length and then start chopping down some 2 by 4s And see what we got left over. Okay, so... Oh, my tape made right here right now, but to give you an idea, we know it's 42 inches tall, and this board's one inch. So, this is gonna be the top. So we need a set for 41 inches. So what I typically do, set this up, I love this, just for this. Spin this one out. Okay, 41 is going to be here, 
can't go that far. So I'm bringing this over a little bit this way, lock it down. Make sure it's still nice and stable. Bring this back in. Inside the light, it's 41 inches. Turn it off, just drop it down, verify it's at 41 inches. Just making sure everything's locked. So we're only going to be able to get two out of this board. It's a nine quarter. Bring the other side out. Now, bad spot. Line it up. Cut it off. Two legs. Got another one. Bad spot. Now, we should, should have, if I do this right, four, perfectly matched boards, straight across, perfect, that's our legs. Hmm. 42 inches might be just a bit too tall. Great for drinks. Okay, after measuring, it comes out to 36 inches for the barbecue pits wings. So we're gonna recut at 35. That way it's the same height as a barbecue pit. I knew it was taller than a, a regular countertop, which is 34. Kitchen table is 32. So I'm a bit taller than my dad, not too much, but for me, 42 would be a much preferred, but I think I wanna kinda of keep it level that way you're not raising, lowering, and it's easier just to slide across. Stay hydrated.
none of my stuff is sponsored. So, redo. Back up, you know, 36 inches, so minus one inch for the top. It's going to be 35. And laser back on. Line up the edge. Drop down. Dead on. Lock in place. So recut. Always keep your best sides, get rid of your worst sides. Two knots, cut them off. Alright, now probably should run those through the planer, but we'll do that in a bit. We need to go measure the next piece. Let's see where we're at. So these two by I mean one by sixes. So 35 inches, if we squeeze them all together, 33. Okay, I'm back. So, we're going to need four at 34. Take the legs off. This time, we're just going to push sled over. All right, just double checking. I only can get two 18 inches out of these, as they're 35 inches. But they're not 35 from the legs, they're the 35 left over from cutting the legs. Over a piece from a picnic table, so. <laughs> need to figure out inside. Because outside, so idea is this model. We're not we're not going nothing fancy, as we don't have a lot of time. But idea is we go this way, outside, inside, two of these. Hang on, kids again. Alright, sorry. So, 
We can either do it this way or do it this way. This being the outside. This way is probably cleaner, looks nicer. But either way, the 18 inches minus 3 inches because inch and a half and inch and a half. So 18 minus 3 is going to be 15 inches. So, And Oh, I will barely get the 15. Show you something real quick. See that, that clamps on to there, allowing me to be able to measure off the end of the board. And if I wouldn't have been able to get it from there, then that's what I would have been doing. But 15 is as small as I can go. So basically, two boxes. And then we'll take these and across like that. We we'll lock ourselves into eight. So whatever doesn't fit doesn't be used. Always find the smooth side of already covering, so These are two that I wasn't going to use. 
mainly because this one's off on the side, but we gotta cut out a spot for the two by four anyway. So I might just end up making this cut back and notched. Uh, I'll probably figure out a way to make it work. Maybe even rip it down and take a smaller piece out of it. If not, I got more. This one had a knot on one side, but the other side's fine. It's going on the bottom shelf, so it'll work. I don't think it's time for a new phone. This thing drains battery crazy. Anyways, uh, the planer is great for cleaning up the board. The only thing I don't like is the snipe to begin the end. Probably should have done this first, but if you don't need a planer, you can actually do it with this. I just like the planer to have it, so why not use it? And we'll just clean up the snipe with the band of uh, the belt sander when we're done. So first two by four they're thicker. And in a minute, if you see the video, a break and a jump in progress is because I had to throw the phone on the charger. So, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and throw the phone on the charger and plane these things down because it's going to take a bit. And then I'll show you the end result. Before I blow everything away with a Turbo Blaster 2000 here, I'll show you the pile of sawdust left over. from playing these guys down and give you an idea <laughs> this is the best and worst of the boards that we cut basically here's those same boards after running through the planer Two are this one, and these two are this. So, there you go. That's the difference it makes. No sanding required.
Okay, well, there we go. So it didn't turn out too bad, especially considering it was all scrap and leftover wood. It needs a little bit of sanding, and I still got to cut a couple of pieces and fit it in there, but you know, that next to the barbecue pit. It's taller than the table, so it's high enough up. So this is your couple of plates of food. drinks it works out fine but basically just showing you that uh you know i did a little extra work i i uh planed it and i didn't need to plane it off uh, i could just hit it with the sander it would have been fine but just an idea that you don't you know it don't takes a lot it does not take a lot of effort and you know it's father's day and Just the thought and what do what you can do. Well, have a good night. I'm done for tonight.